Uh, my name is John Kovich. I'm the rep for Fish Pond and some other companies you might have heard of like Winston and Patagonia and Outcast. I'm here at the Caddis Fly in Eugene, Oregon and I've been showing Chris, the owner here, all the new offerings from Fish Pond for this coming year. So I wanted to go through a few of those with you and show you what we've got to come. First is a vest that is called the, um, the Marabou Vest. And we really like this because it looks a little bit old school. This is made out of um, uh, waxed cotton, and it's got a real um, old school feel. It looks a little bit like an upland bird vest, a field vest. This is going to retail for $169. Chris will have it in for Christmas. One of the great things about all fish pond vests, this included, you might know this, is these are one size fits most, as we say. In other words, no matter how big you are, no matter how much clothing you're wearing or not wearing, you can adjust this over the shoulder and around the sides to make it fit you. It's a great vest. So this will be in for Christmas time. Another vest that's new that we really like as well is the Elk River Youth Vest. Now this has all the features that really anybody needs for a vest, especially these days when we're all trying to be a little bit more minimalist. But it's meant to, fish a, or to fit a smaller frame, in this case a young kid. And certainly a woman that is um, getting into fly fishing. This is made all of nylon. Again, it's got zippered front pockets, mesh pockets that you can fit, tip it in, and, um, and really all the tools that you need, fly boxes, etc. And it's going to retail for $69. Again, going to be in here for Christmas time. In packs, this is something that Fishbond always does a great job in. The Tundra Pack is new from Fishbond this year and is definitely the most technical of any of the pack systems that they've ever made. If you notice, this pack has a molded foam back, so it's going to give lots of support, not only for you wearing it, but for gear that you put in the back. Sometimes when you fill backpacks up, if they don't have any support, all that weight goes to the bottom and you really feel it bouncing against you. So this has lots of support that are going to make it comfortable for you. Some of the features that I think are really interesting about this pack are that, number one, you can wear the chest pack with it, you can clip it off and wear it by itself. But new this year, you can take this chest pack off and clip it onto the back of the backpack. That might seem like it doesn't make sense at first, but you imagine walking in three or four miles to a high mountain stream or lake. This can be completely out of your way, on the, mounted on the back of the backpack. You can pull it off when you get to where you're going, fish it by itself, or fish it with a backpack. Other features on this backpack that you've got to look close to find are these magnetic strip openings. Those are meant for you to be able to slide rod tubes down into the interior of the bag. It's nice in that it keeps those tubes secure. It also keeps them from snagging on things and kind of um, um, being in your way when you're clomping through the woods. You can also put other things in there. You can put a tripod in there. You can put a, a wading staff in there. So those are nice features. There's, of course, four different pockets here, organized uh, you know, from, from small pockets that you'd carry accessories in, one that's padded that you could put an iPod or a camera in, a big pocket for your lunch, um, extra clothing, etc. And then this outside piece, which you've got to look closely at to understand, this is stretch mesh. Again, you can put lots of stuff here, but that hole is meant so that you can put the bottom, the handle of a net here, and it'll all stow nicely. So that is the Tundra Pack. It's going to retail for $239. And I should say that this uh, chest pack also we sell separately and will retail for $79. In the same sort of category is the Piney Creek backpack and chest pack combination. And you can see this is a little bit more minimalist than the other. This doesn't have all the same construction that is going to give you all that support. It's meant for lighter use. It doesn't have um, as many pockets uh, on the back. It doesn't have those, those magnetic openings but it's got enough room for you to carry your lunch with you, some extra insulation, a rain jacket, etc., and then to carry your tackle in the, front, um, in the front chest pack. That pack, again, comes off. You can wear it by itself. It clips onto the backpack so it will stay out of your way when you're hiking in, or again, you can wear it as an entire system. Piney Creek will sell for $169 and will be available shortly here at the Caddis Fly. Let's see here. We've always had a really broad selection of tackle bags. You see on Chris's table here the Bighorn Kit Bag, the Cloudburst, which have been staples for us for a long time. Um, this bag, which is the Lost River, takes some of those great attributes that we have in the other bags, but adds a few things here. One is that all of these great tackle bags are meant so that you can put them in the bottom of a wet boat, and they're going to keep your things dry. So it's a molded 
uh, bottom that's completely waterproof. The rest of this is a really nice um, sort of old style canvas. One of the great features here is that you've got kind of an easy access opening to this. So if you're just wanting to get the a fly box out consistently, um, it's going to sit right on the top of your bag and you can grab it easily. Of course, it zips completely open. And you can see the interior has lots of room and dividers that you can set up any way you want to to store fly boxes, extra spools, fly lines, etc. That's going to retail for $125. Uh, this is kind of an interesting piece. I know Chris really liked this a lot. We were just talking about how there are some pieces now that are gaining a little bit of enthusiasm amongst a certain crowd of anglers who really like, they like traditional products. They also like things that are very simple, that don't have too many features that get in your way. So this satchel is going to retail for $89. Again, it's cotton canvas, and you can see this is the best way to wear it. It slings, bandolero style, It'll sit in the small of your back, be out of your way. When you need to get into it, you can just slide it around, clasp opening, and then inside, it's really, again, quite simple. Right? You'll carry your fly boxes there. You can, carry a, you can carry a packed up rain jacket, and then there are dividers so you can have some compartmentalization to your gear. But very simple bag. It's really going to appeal to a lot of anglers and is going to retail for $89. So I think that's all the smaller stuff. There's a collection over here, which I put all together, which is a new collection from Fishbowl. This will not be available until springtime of 2011, but we wanted to show it to you anyway. We've got it on order. This whole collection is um, uh, what's called the Sporting Club Collection. And you note that it looks a little bit old school. Instead of being these lightweight nylons like we have in some of these packs, this is wax cotton canvas, very durable stuff. And it's really meant to be more of a lifestyle piece than it is a pure fishing piece. So this duffel will be something you can carry on a plane with all your gear. In the same sort of category, they make a bag that is, again, meant to be a carry-on. Lots of dividers here, lots of ways to strap uh, clothing in and compress it and get as much into a carry-on bag as you can. It can be carried by its handles or by the backpack straps. That's going to retail for $189, and I think it's going to be a great value. And then two other pieces, which really make a lot of sense to uh, people that like an outdoor lifestyle or who know the Fish Pond brand. If you're used to carrying tackle bags that say Fish Pond, you know it's quality. Why wouldn't you buy a briefcase to carry your laptop in? So we've got two different styles that are going to be carried here. One a little more simple, a messenger bag style, and one that's definitely got a lot more in terms of features to it that, again, has places that you can put a laptop in put notebooks in, put uh, air, airplane tickets, pens, iPods, etc. in, that will retail for $219. So, I think that is what's new with Fish Pond's 2010-2011 collection. I hope you find some of it um, to suit you and it will be available here at the Catastrophe in Eugene, Oregon.